Greetings and welcome to the Marina of Spring Day 9 in Die Tonight. This is Gibbs Slater and let's hop right back into it. We had 348 zombies attack us at the end of Day 8 and they had a little bit of trouble overcoming our 10,513 defenses. Um, there were no deaths. The 10,513 defense, of course, is because of the change over to Season 5 and the, <coughs> excuse me, the extended maintenance uh, that they had to do that day, so they just gave everybody a super buff to make sure they'd be uh, covered. But yeah, that's kind of a cool number to see, though. And in other good news, there were uh, no additional deaths. There were uh, no uh, campers. I don't think there was anybody outside, and we didn't have any dehydrations, and uh, we were kind of thinking there might be some suicides for um, Season 5 to start a new town, uh, but apparently, so far, that has not happened. But let's move on into other news. First, uh, first item up is getting to understand these new forums and some of the neat little tricks they do. I'm slowly getting used to them, but I wanted to point out the latest winner in the poker game that was going on, and uh, we're going to have to uh, back this up one. Here we go. So a big shout out to Sketch. Sketch 121. He drew himself a 9 of diamonds and a 10 of hearts. And I do believe that ultimately gave him a straight with uh, the 6, 7, 8, and then his 9 and 10 gave him a very strong hand of a straight. And uh, he won that round. However, there was no, uh, no given prize announced, and they just started the next round. However, uh, he did win a shout-out on Gibbs next video. <laughs> so I guess that's that was the prize right there. So he, uh, for the house, put down a three of diamonds, a queen of diamonds, a king of diamonds, a seven of diamonds, and a two of clubs, and then drew himself a four of clubs and a ten of diamonds. Guess what Sketch has? He's got himself a flush. So that's looking good for him there. We're going to go on here and see what everybody else drew real quick. Um, I'm just going to scroll through and you can look if you're interested there. But uh, Bucky finally uh, said that Sketch takes another hand with his flush. Your deal again, sir. So yet another shout out for Sketch. He's won two out of the three hands. Very good. So he's got himself a double shout out. But hey, guess what? Sketch gets himself a triple shout out because we were in IRC. Uh, last night, and I was speaking with our friend Sketch, uh, just uh, telling him some basic stuff about uh, starting a trial period with us, very, uh, very important information, uh, being very professional, I was telling him, and then he slaps me with a fish bot. I can't believe it. Barg! Of all the nerve of a trial person slapping Gibbs Slater with a fish bot, he immediately realized his error and began apologizing profusely. Uh, but I had to get out my little notepad and I had to um, uh, take some notes about this horrendous incident. And uh, he was quite worried that uh, his days were over before they began and he said that he could slap himself, he'd do anything to redeem himself. And he did manage to slap himself with a large fish bot uh, and he hurt himself. And I was just a little curious, you know, is he going to get a masochism distinction for that? So kind of funny stuff right there. That's pretty cool. Moving on. Moving on. We had some other drama going on over the course of uh, day nine. We had uh, the faucet begin. We got our engine, and we did need a bone, a human bone, uh, to get that engine built. And uh, Lusty Panda... He uh, volunteered to eat the meaty bone. We handed him Lemur's meaty bone, and he chowed down on it uh, with great gusto and uh, gave us the bone we needed to complete the engine and start the faucet. The faucet still is not complete yet. It still needs about 31 AP to complete, and as soon as it is uh, ready, it is a tamer's dream. 
is we will be able to freely uh, load up our water-based weapons and just go wreak havoc. So as a tamer, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but there was some uh, other drama out in the world beyond. We had a clearing mission begin um, uh, out in the world beyond, and Genghis was sent out with his chainsaw down to the southwest. And according to the numbers that I read, uh, he had uh, done pretty well, uh, but a little bit of bad luck struck, and he got stuck at minus five, minus five, and uh, needed rescue. However, uh, the person that was best suited to come out and rescue him, Jeet, was not online at the time, and he had to patiently wait all day long for rescue to come to him. Well, Jeet did finally show up, and uh, there was a path decided. This is the path that uh, Genghis uh, drew here. I know it's kind of hard to see, uh, but he was suggesting a kill run that came down and just kind of went up and down, up and down, out to him. Um, I do not know for sure if that was the path that they actually took, but um, I know they were very successful in the clearing and the rescue of Genghis. Uh, let me show you some of the results that were posted about that uh, rescue mission. Um, right here, that should be what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what we got right there. I'm not going to read all of that out loud, but just quickly running down uh, the kills that uh, happened before and after his chainsaw gave out. Genghis's chainsaw. Three five six six three three six 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 five five four, and then some additional ones. And they uh, also used a cell phone at some point to blow up a couple of zombies. So he is reporting that there was a total kill count of 66 Zeds. I think uh, either Genghis alone or between Genghis and, and Jeet. So very good, very successful rescue mission that also turned out to be a very nice uh, uh, clearing at the same time. So it's kind of a, a double mission, a rescue that turned into a uh, really successful run there. And uh, let's take a look at the current situation right now outside. We have about uh, uh, roughly three hours before the next attack going into day 10 and I'm going to be heading to work soon so that's why I'm uh, doing this video now. A uh, bunch of people outside doing some auto searching in undepleted zones. Once again uh, we're not uh, trying to camp those two southernmost buildings. They're fairly cut off down there and they're fairly far away and um, I don't think we're really making any serious attempts to go to them. All the other buildings on the map have been camped and their blueprints collected. Uh, so nothing really major at this moment going on. You can see that uh, Genghis has um, returned. Like I said, that rescue mission was successful. He's back inside and Jeet is also back inside. Everybody else is just auto-searching for scraps or uh, some undepleted zones. It's not uh, not much more to uh, report on right now. That's kind of the uh, state of the situation and uh, we're gonna just wrap this up now. One of my shorter videos and I'm sure some people <laughs> probably appreciate that a little bit. But this is Gibbs Slater reporting for uh, the Marina Day 9 and please don't die tonight. <laughs>